Today, we're going to look at Labyrinth, War on Terror, card by card. We hope you'll join us in exploring this amazing game. This is Legendary Tactics. So we begin with Sistani, another three-banger U.S. event. There's only one other left after this one. Yes. Um, now, this, this event, again, it's not as good as Mass Turnout, but it is generally almost as good. It just requires a cell. There's usually a cell in a regime change country. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, and it has to also be Shia mix. But generally speaking, you're, that's you know, going to have it. You're going to you're going to have some or, cells somewhere there. Yeah, yeah. In and and it's, around. Uh, most times there, a lot of times there's Shia mix. So, as the American, countries. would you play this one? Yeah, if if absolutely, this is just about as as um, this. It's about as must uh, like a must play like mass turnout. It's just not quite as good as mass turnout. That's because it okay. has a couple requirements. Yeah, right? yeah. And as as the um, as the jihadis, you can actually mitigate this card. Yep. Just po move all possibly, your cells out. possibly, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a lot of work potentially, especially if you're like in the middle of trying to get a major jihad going somewhere. Yes, um, but if if you if it fits your plans, uh, you can easily mitigate, move all your cells out or whatever, and then um, move them in back in with the next card if you're worried about it. Right, right, right. I mean, it but, would be a potential uh, block, uh, a first plot for sure. If if the conditions were met, you couldn't do it. But um, yes, yeah. I would plot this one. Yeah, and with luck, like as a U.S. player, if you if you do a regime change in a Shia mix country with a cell, then this is your mass turnout. If you roll, oh, and if you have this with, with mass turnout, it's an instant uh, good. Yeah, but, well, ex yeah, it, it could be. Yeah, if you've got the right, yeah, this and mass turnout mm -hmm. played back to back is basically an instant end to a, uh, a regime change. Regime change. I don't yeah. know if I've ever seen that. You'd have to have some pretty good luck in drawing both of those cards. Um, but yeah, absolutely, and and theoretically, you could even do uh, in one turn. You could do regime change, Sistani, like if you got lucky, regime change, fair governance, uh, Sistani, regime change done. Then you could play another card to move those same troops into a different country for a regime change. If you got lucky with the roll again, fair governance. You play mass turnout. You could actually. Do two regime changes and two get two countries <laughs> to good governance in one turn. If you, if you, not even a full turn, like half half a, a <laughs> turn. Know. And could, can you imagine you if you had if you had it. oil spike as well? Oh jeez, yeah. <laughs> draw one of them back. <laughs> yeah, then draw one of them back. Do another regime change. Like it's very unlikely, but it could happen theoretically. Yeah, that's true. That's hilarious. True, yeah. Like can you imagine the oh, jihadi yeah. players like five resources just about to win. <laughs> And, yeah. and the U.S. does three regime changes in one turn, gets all three countries to good governance like instantly. <laughs> that is oh, called that getting be, lambasted. That would be a table flipping. That would be a table flipping moment. That would with be definitely. Yes. Yeah. All right, so, last yeah. American event to go through here, and then we finally good. get to the good stuff. Yeah, the door of jihad <laughs> was closed. What do you think of this one? Uh, I usually take the three ops. Um, okay. I find that um, if you're playing a solo game. Um, generally I will, um, you know, I will, uh, um, you know, play the, uh, the event actually, because having that, uh, that value there of the, the, uh, blocking the U S the non, the jihadi sorry, the, events, the non U the jihadi events not happening is huge. Oh, so, does it also block the uh, neutral events? It looks like it does. If you yeah, read it, but, okay. but that's in solo play. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's very, very useful uh, okay. for that. Yeah, um, as a jihadi, but, you can mitigate this one no problem. Yes, yeah, so you just save it for your last card of that's the right. Uh, that's right. Of the turn, yeah, so, yeah. So that's yeah. fine. Yeah. All, All right. right. So we move on. Next up is Adam Gadon. Yes, yes. And, and it, for I've never really used this card to great uh, effect. Yeah, it's um, it's kind of a weird card. It's. It's a one op, so you're like, well, I'd rather use the event if possible. But the event is like, you have to play it on the first Card. action phase. Yeah. And a cell has to be available. And you've got a recruit in the US, which With is a second you card. Know, a, a, yeah, but it's a, it's a one or two. So it's like, I mean, actually, the, probably the best use of it is playing the blocking a US event, like ignoring the US event. So playing like a, a bad, like three op event. 
Yes. Um, oh, I that's see. That's probably the main use of it. Yeah, but, and I've never really thought that, but that's actually a really good point. Yeah. Yeah. So, but so it you is can kind of you can dump a U.S. event with it, basically. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, and potentially get some cells in the U.S. out of the bargain, which might um, cause some grief. Yeah. Yeah. So it, but at the same time, it, it depends. I mean, if you don't have any WMD, is it really worth recruiting in the U.S.? Uh, maybe, I maybe, guess. Yeah. I, I mean, mean yeah, you could potentially um, shatter the uh, prestige if you played it right. But uh, yeah, yeah, it could definitely help. But it's, uh, yeah, it's just it's a lot of. I find, uh, you know, to get in the U.S. and stay in the U.S. is a lot of work. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, for, yeah. for the jihadist player. So, yeah. But, I mean, yeah, it could be a pretty solid event. And, and in many cases, really, I mean, the one-op is not going to be worth taking. So, you yeah. may as well get some value out of it. So Sure, yeah. <coughs> yeah. Okay. So it could Al be a great event, if you're, depending on your hand. Yeah. Next is Al-Itihad Al-Islami. So, I've actually used this card for the... For, for getting the cell down on the board if, if the, yep. the conditions are right. Yeah, uh, If, if I'm really placement. low on cells and I just need cells on the board and there's no Islamist rule, yep. I'll, I'll throw this event down and, and get yeah. a cell in there yeah. and, and uh, at least can create some uh, havoc. So, Yeah, because if you're going to recruit with the, with the one-up anyway, you may as well just make it automatic. I mean, Somalia might not be near where you need to be. No, but, no, it's it's yeah, not an ideal spot, but for, hey, it's yeah. one... It's one uh, uh, point and uh, to get yeah. something on it's good <laughs> yeah um and sar al islam from oh the, was from, say, from the, the american the side card, with the last card i'm i'm usually happy to take the op as the u.s because placing a cell in somalia is irrelevant out, out, of the, out of the way yeah so and pro in most in most situations you're just getting one less cell that's really irrelevant to you yeah exactly it's way off and then you know they have to the jihadi players to travel it somewhere travel it to somewhere interesting yeah so. yeah yeah okay so yeah ansar al islam if it's rock uh, kurdish Iran, jihadists <coughs> so um, so generally if, unless iraq is like in great shape you can you can use this well i mean it's an instant sell i mean yeah. and if it, it would save a, a recruit and a travel and it's only worth one yeah, and and Iraq is actually one of the the countries I definitely target. Yeah, so it's not a bad one to actually get yeah, get no, a cell. I, on the board. I think it's better event than the previous card because it hundred percent. Oh yeah, the cells are pro more likely to be sort of in the action, in play, right? Uh, yeah, you know, yeah, more yeah. immediately in play. So yeah. yeah, I mean, but that said, is it worth the American player? I, I'll take the one up on this one. Just you'll let you'll let the cell happen. happen in general. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Uh, well, a lot of these, a lot of these one bangers, to be honest, too. You're gonna, you're gonna probably let play, but yeah, there may be the. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll have to wait and we'll see. We'll see. Here. Yeah. FREs. FREs. Yeah. Former regime elements go gorilla. Yeah. Well, this is a nice combo to play with the previous card. Yeah. Well, oh wait, it, not quite. Not quite. I need Iraq, your troops so. there too. So <laughs> it's not my you, cell. It's your troops. <laughs> yeah. So yes, it is. It is a great event provided there's troops in Iraq, but again, um, in general, and we've discussed this in a previous video, is is Iraq generally tends to be the last, that tends to be the one that wins the game for the jihadists, I find. It's usually, you know, you have uh, Afghanistan, uh, Pakistan, or whatever, or, or some combination of like a one banger, a two banger, and then this is the final, like, so it's either Iraq or Indonesia that's like the final one that ends the game so the dagger yeah for yeah. for troops to be in iraq requires a regime change or, or maybe potentially if iraq gets to good status and uh there's a couple of troops there to help with garrison garrisoning the uh the place um so it could potentially be a bad event i just don't find i've got troops in iraq all that often yeah that's true yeah yeah hey, do yeah. i use it for the event um well, if, if you the, can, if the condition I mean, is right, absolutely. But generally, four, it's not. But... It's not going to be like that. So yeah, know, yeah. I'll just have to take the op usually. Yep. Now the next one though. Oh is, yes. This, this is, is this so is, annoying. I, I, you know what? For I, I love every opportunity to mill the American deck. So this card yes. for me, or just is just great. trash my hand. Like that's that's the one thing. Yeah, that yeah, the, yeah. These Especially cards because do. yeah, yep. Yep, yeah. It's so great. So uh, yeah. I would definitely play this for the event if it if the condition was yeah. there. Um, now the US player can just hold this till the end of his turn and play take the op and then but if it's his last card, there's no card to discard, so Right. It doesn't uh, you just have to save it for the last uh, card. 
or if you want to discard again it could potentially be good if you if you save it to the second last card and your last card happens to be a, a nasty event you don't want to have played then um you can use this to pretend it can potentially help you by uh getting rid of a bad jihadi uh, event yeah yeah so which brings us to madrasas yeah madrasas oh madrasas Muslim schools teach extremism this is a bit like Adam Gadon. I don't know if I've seen I know. You I was I, know, I I was just gonna say it, it just reminds me of Adam Gadon because it's not yeah. one I play very often. Yeah. Um, no, it's it can be useful if you have funding issues uh, to get some cells on the board, and it, you can recruit anywhere that it's not fair. That sorry, in poor any poor country, um, even if you don't have a cell or cadre to recruit, you so you can just pop up anywhere. Um, yep. which isn't bad, but, uh, it's only at most, it's going to be four rolls, right? So yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's, it's not, I generally play the op on this one. I don't play the event. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah of limited use. And I, I'm, I do not fear it as, uh, yeah. uh as the U S cause of the, you have to, it has to be the jihadi player playing it basically to trigger it. So, yeah. Okay. On to the next. Moktada al Sadr. Shiite adds, Shiite to, adds occupation to occupation quotes. Yeah. Again, it's it's uh, the troops have to be in Iraq, which I'm kind of noticing there's a bit of a theme here going on with the yeah. one bangers anyway. I think I think the way the the game is designed, like if you play Let's Roll and and uh, you can call me Al, Iraq doesn't factor in all that much. But I think the other scenarios bring Iraq into play more, and the, these cards become more relevant. So, um, but Sadr is kind of a an interesting thing it's basically a, a a cell that you cannot move but it also cannot be disrupted so like this it's like there permanently rock solid you know yeah. thing just that it can be used to recruit it can be used to uh, prevent uh, war of ideas or to add to a uh, um, you know to a major jihad there so it's you know it's yeah. it's a pretty decent event and it's only one op you know, you're giving up. To, if if it can if it can happen, sure. But uh, generally, yeah, I would definitely take the event if it was possible. But I, it's not, it's not like like yeah. You generally, I don't see troops in Iraq, so. Yeah. So. All right, and the last card we're gonna go over today, the Ugur, Ugur uh, Jihad. Jihad. I'm sorry, we're mispronouncing these. Um, I don't know. What are your thoughts on this one? Uh, test China places a cell in... Uh, you know what? It's actually pretty good for a one-banger. Yeah. So especially if the U.S. is hard, uh, the odds are or in sorry, your favor. If China's, if China's hard, you get a cell in Central Asia. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Which yeah. can be... Which is close enough to the action to be uh, kind of a, a good play. And if, if it ends up in China, China is a little bit off the beaten track, but it's not. Well, you're, you're getting a sell down and you're potentially, you're because generally when we've played, uh, U.S. starts hard. So yeah. the odds are in your favor that uh, it's going to be uh, a slam on the war on terror. Yes. And you're getting a sell on the board. And what more could you ask for for a card? So, yeah. yeah I, and, it, you know, from the jihadi perspective as well, you get a sell no matter what. It's guaranteed. That's what I mean. Yeah, you get so. a sell on the board in yep. some spot. Yeah. And uh, potentially in a spot that's going to actually be useful if you if you can get that heart. And it sort of rewards you a little better because Central Asia is a little more uh, relevant. Yes. Um, but yeah. so even if you do happen to roll hard and, and uh, the U.S. is hard, and they, they bump, but you still get your cell down. Yeah. So, yeah. So. I mean, it is a, it can, it's a bit of a risk when you're testing anything, but uh, yeah, uh, you, you just got to play but, the odds. Yeah. Well, it's the same reason why the jihadi player generally takes what I call the stroll through Europe, where it, you know you basically get into the Schengen countries and, and you just you walk start around mucking around and, and see you what try you can and do. Trigger yeah. as many as you can to you know the opposite, the opposite. side of the U.S. You know, yes, yes, yes. And uh, yeah, it's kind so. of it's a it's a it's a kind of a funny part of the game, especially in Let's Roll. It's kind of this this in the Let's Roll scenario. It's kind of this funny kind of thing that's great. It's a great jihadi play, but it's kind of ridiculous too, where they're just kind of like walking around, just testing the waters with every every one of the Schengen countries, and <laughs> exactly, you know, 
and hopefully suddenly like in the u.s can go in one turn from having like the world on their side to like the world very much against them that's right so yeah it's, yeah it's yeah. kind of one of the gamey parts of labyrinth that i it's it doesn't break the game but it does no. feel a bit gamey you know yeah, a little like, bit no, a little bit that's not to be honest though i don't that's... do that a lot i'll do that maybe like once in a game if that and it'll only be a two or three like i, I don't do that school yeah. generally so yeah no no, no. I, I have too much it, other it, too, it, too yeah. much else to accomplish that to have time for that so Yes, yeah. But so. it is something that is worth doing if the U.S. is, is hard on terror because you can really trash their plans. So uh, don't forget to play Ugar Jihad if you yes. uh, feel like, t you know, uh, messing around with the uh, war on terror at all. Yes. So, <laughs> hey. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, this uh, latest uh, installment of uh, uh, Labyrinth Card by Card. I'm NATO. I'm Cax. And this is Legendary Tactics. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> nice add-on, dude. <laughs>